Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, and uh, I wanted to share with you, uh, I went to see um, 007, uh, No Time to Die, last night, and uh, it's, it's funny, I've got, a, I've got one of these passes, uh, it's $18 a month, and you get to see all the movies you want and all this stuff, and uh, it's it's not a good uh, investment, I guess you might call it. Um, it's uh, you have to have it for a year. I didn't know that. I thought you'd just do it month to month. That's how I got suckered into it. They didn't tell me you have to go into it for a year. So, but uh, anyway, uh, so that's why I've been going to so many movies. Um, but it was interesting. I really liked uh, 007. Um, and what it is, it was funny because normally um, it's, um, there's nobody else in the theater. <laughs> Just me. Uh, me and my cousin. And that, that's it. And uh, it was funny because there was. There was uh, probably... Uh, over over two dozen people in there last night, and um, so it was it was I, I'm almost crowded. <laughs> you know, it seemed like it. I mean, there was noise from all the people, and um, but normally there isn't any. You know, so and we can talk and you know all this stuff. So, but it was it was interesting. Another thing that was interesting is everybody in the theater were all old people. <laughs> So, uh, I'm taking it for granted, and I, I think it is the last uh, 007 movie that will be out. I think I think so. Uh, you can, uh, like I say I've been going pretty regular to the movies, and uh, I've I've mentioned it before. Uh, a lot of them now are superheroes. Uh, the thing is, uh, people, uh, the young folk, they're, they're not talented. Uh, they don't understand, uh, learning things and skills and stuff, how to apply them. And, uh, when the movies now doesn't doesn't work on any skills uh, and this answers why uh, and I mentioned a long time ago I heard a, a thing where young people this was like 12 12 14 years old uh, they said what they wanted to grow up and be famous and see they had no idea uh, about skills this is something uh, I don't think people understand and um, uh, so, so what happens? You see, everybody is uh, doing weird stuff. You know, look at look at them. They're doing. They're wearing weird clothes. Uh, they're doing things to their bodies. Uh, either tattooings, piercing. Um, no telling what they're what they're doing. Uh, uh, they're looking to be famous, looking to do something where, and I, I guess money doesn't mean anything to them. And uh, so, you know, they just want, you know, uh, like, like get on YouTube and get a million people looking at their video. You know, I guess that would be considered famous. That would be a, wow, that's, that's me. So... They're, they think of ideas, what they can do to be famous. And uh, doesn't, they don't know what investing in themselves, uh, like an apprentice, uh, learning a skill, it takes time. And then once you get this skill, then you are famous. But it's not nationwide famous, but it's famous in the area because they need your skills 
and but it takes time to build the skills and this is something that the young people don't realize and understand uh, that they need to well they don't understand how investing in themselves is a asset but then again you got to remember like I say they're not motivated by money uh, this is why, well, you know, mom and dad takes care of them. They're living in their house with the mom and dad's house. So they don't have to pay rent. They don't have to do this stuff. So uh, their mentality is different. And I mentioned that when I was living in Central America. Uh, that is what holds people down is when you're going to be staying home, mama's going to cook, cook food for you, do your laundry and all that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, there's no motivation to uh, take responsibility and do something with your life. And uh, it's showing up in the movies. Uh, Hollywood, I, the way I see it, I don't even think Hollywood, there is, a, there is no more Hollywood. Um, it looks like the Chinese bought the... Entertainment companies, and so there's uh, you're going to see more and more uh, Chinese influence in the movies and stuff, and and that's your superheroes is a good example uh, because, like I say, when I was uh, living in China, I noticed uh, the young people. I thought our young people were bad. Their young people are really bad, and uh, but then that was the days when uh, only one child, they only had one child and so, um, you know, so it's spoiled kids. So, uh, it's, it's, it was really weird when you see a whole country like that. And that's what I'm seeing here in the United States, in the movie, we're talking about in the movies uh, type of stuff. Uh, like I say, it's, uh, and I always wondered, I remember when they first started doing special effects and uh, I said then, I said, it's going to be bad when every th the whole movie is nothing but a special effect. And that's what they are. That's uh, your superhero is the whole movie is special effects. And um, so, uh, and that's something that I've been seeing a lot of in the movies. And very few movies. Now, you got to remember, I'm an old guy. so And so I've got... There's certain things I look for in a movie, and I try to uh, get find something there that I can use, something that I can use to better myself uh, when I uh, see movies. And it might be even stuff like uh, the morals. You know, that's what I like about cowboy movies. You know, I mean, it's that was definitely uh, moral type movies and uh, John Wayne type movies. Uh, they're, they all have, uh, they're, they're teaching you something and they're telling you a story on how it applies. And nowadays it's not anything like that. Uh, morals has nothing to do with these movies. Um, you know, yeah, they do the villain and, and, you know, you have the good guy and the bad guy and stuff, but it's, has, it's bad uh it's funny i had uh my cousin said one time well yeah but the one good thing is it tells you uh family you know and but yeah but the you know the importance of family the problem is it's not family it's a bunch of friends coming together and they call themselves family you know so it's not they don't really understand the value of family and um, those, and like I say, family teaches you um, morals and uh, uh, teaches you right and wrong. And this is not something that you catch in families anymore. And I think that's the schools is uh, trying to get everybody, stamp everybody out as a, a certain kind of person. And um, this is things that I've been seeing and watching. And you got to remember, the one thing is they want to get rid of old people. 
and the reason is old people they have uh, experience and that experience is what they can share with other people and that'll make people think and uh, you know well that's we don't want people thinking you know so but, but yeah but that's why uh, you have to watch and see that uh, like I say there's the old people and they're trying to put the old people at a whole different degree of person but it's that age and experience that makes that person valuable now I'm learning uh, when you get to a, not a certain age but uh, uh, a certain level of maturity it seems like they don't really want to do anything uh, they've, they've done everything they don't want to do anything they just want to sit home and enjoy them, enjoy themselves by sitting home I don't know what they do I don't enjoy myself sitting home but you know maybe they, they do some way or another and uh, but like I say when you've done all these things it's hard to find new things uh, that are exciting and will make you a stronger person and so when you get older it then it starts you're sharing what you have done with others because like I say it's not that easy to find new things to to get involved in and, and do but anyway I just thought I'd share that with you and if you get a chance you need to go see the uh, no Time to Die, uh, James Bond. It, that, I believe it's going to be the end of James Bond uh, 007. So, but anyway, this is Mike, nostressmike.com.